gonna try and do 135 by 135 for curls. And then... I, I swear to God, if you do that shit where you're like flailing... Oh, it's gonna get ugly. I mean, 135 reps. Like, what do you call flailing? Oh, we're not Bobby, it won't be that bad. All right, so today's workout is going to be a ton of volume. Um, sometimes I like doing stuff where I just try and do whatever the weight is, do that many repetitions. So, yeah, let's get into it. Is that too much or is that alright? Huh? Yeah. How many reps Twenty. Only 115 left. to me a lot. Mm -hmm. A hundred more to me a lot, man. Yeah. I feel like... Huh? Let's see if I can go a little quicker than that. Try and get a couple more 15 if I can. I feel like I get winded doing everything I do. Like whether it's a couple hundred reps of squats or a couple hundred reps of deadlifts or a couple hundred reps of curls, they all. Whew. Well, geez, that makes sense. I'm looking more for bench weights around like that. Just wheel your chair over and slide okay. yourself around. <laughs> Whew. I'm not to That's cool. I'll be able to play it back. Better make I'm having to do it. Still gonna send it.
type of prescription for some reason. What? So you just leave it here? Mm -hmm. So you just leave it here? Mm -hmm. okay. He's like, yeah, I want you to use what I mean so I can use my wife on YouTube, because I don't know how to use it, I'm like, should have sent him a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I We did a, I remember one of my classes, we were part of some study, I don't remember which paper it was for, it was basically just testing your like, blood pressure, the impact on blood pressure from being inverted, and we did it on like a decline, there was a couple like kids in our class who agreed to lay like that for 12 hours and they check your blood pressure every hour to see how it impacts it. I remember, I think one of them was like eight or nine hours and just passed out. And they had to like pull off there and try and like help massage the blood back from his upper extremity. I love all the weird stuff that we study. I don't know what the application of that was, but... I think it was supposed to be it was something to do with like low gravity situations. I'm like, you don't just have to sit still in low gravity. Yeah. She literally like, you weren't allowed to sit up, you weren't allowed to like, you just had to lay there. I did not do well.
I got 50 left. Piece the cake. The real question is, when well, I buy this for shot, how bad is that going to mess me up trying to bed press? Probably a lot. Maybe I'll do dumbbells. That way I can also do like the little creature thing. Membership revoked. You know the rule. You're bounced. One more set.
All right, 135 by 135 on curls. Um, so usually when I do this sort of stuff, also I'm not like, uh, I guess I do it just to get through it. I don't generally uh, do it as something where I'm picking a weight that I'm trying to get really good contractions when I'm doing you know, workouts that could be a thousand plus reps for the whole workout. Uh, it's largely something I do just because it's fun for me. Um, but I do feel like it does help improve my stamina for a lot of the other stuff that I do, uh, or at least I believe it to. Whether or not it does, I don't know, but I, I feel like since I've been doing this stuff on occasion, I do have a little bit better stamina with a lot of the other training I do. Uh, but again, for me, it's mostly just because I have fun. I have fun coming in here and just banging out tons and tons and tons of reps um, and just kind of dealing with that like lactic acid buildup hitting you halfway through your, your rep target or crushing you sometimes even earlier than that and just trying to grind it out. Uh, so that's, that's why I do it. <laughs> so this one is only gonna be a 100 rep goal, uh, even though you could argue it's 200 pounds, 100 pound dumbbells, and I don't wanna do 200 reps on anything today because I did yesterday's workout was actually a total of I think 1,040 reps. So I'll probably be doing a little bit less today, maybe some more, more in the ballpark of like six, seven hundred reps uh, between everything. So anyway, I'm gonna superset that with the creature curl behind me, just because I don't get to do that at home. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So the other thing, when I do this sort of stuff as a superset, I only pick the primary movement that I'm doing for the rep target, and the other one would just be hit X amount of reps within the context of that superset. So like for that, I'm just doing sets of 12 each arm over there, and I'll just continue to try and hit sets of 12. <clears throat> Excuse me, whenever I feel like I need to take a break here. But this would be as many sets as it takes until I hit that total of 100 reps, whereas that doesn't matter how many hit I hit, I just, every time I break here, I'll go do some reps over there. Whew.
one more thing, uh, just kind of, I guess a disclaimer with this is when I put up kind of like what I'm doing for my workouts, especially these types of workouts, none of this is meant to be workout advice in any way. It's literally just, I thought it'd be fun to share with people what I do. Really just cause it's fun for me. I like doing it and you know, sometimes friends or every once in a while clients that, you know, have been with me for a while and they get in pretty good shape. I have them kind of push through this type of stuff and usually people enjoy it. Uh, and that's really all this is about is it's fun for me. I'm sharing with people like, yeah, this is kind of what I like to do. Um, but in no way am I recommending that people train like this to achieve any sort of goal to look, you know, whether it's look a certain way, hit a certain strength, any of that. Uh, this is, this is just for fun for me. Um, you know, I guess to be honest, if there's any benefits from it, it's a lucky consequence of me just kind of playing around and having fun. So, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Whew.
Okay, those are the over 70 rep deep breaths. 77. I really want to hit 80. Then bam. I'm a little bit warmer. I sure, and next time we do this, I'm bringing a blanket. <laughs> and a pillow. Yeah, actually. You have one of those blackout masks Put over your eyes? No, I'd be present. I would just be chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Ninety percent partial reps when I do this kind of stuff. But it always feels really good like when I'm done. Yeah. Alright, well you're gonna be on camera, so um, make it good rest. <laughs> Just film my legs. <laughs> it's what the people want to see anyway. <sighs> no, my Snapchatters would definitely want to see 100 by 100. I'm gonna get my mask and change me. And I'm gonna make me the asshole. Uh, yeah. I can't I work here. <laughs> I can't have like an HR call like Celery's not wearing her mask. What about the weird dude with the t-shirt sleeve on his head isn't wearing a mask? That's cool. Do, someone complained and like an employee came up to me, I would just be like, alright, I'll finish up on my own. You wouldn't just come up to me and like scream at me in front of everybody? How many times do I have to tell you? Get the hell out of my... <laughs> no one's going to do that to you. <laughs> no, I mean you do it. Like, that way everyone cheers for you when you come back in. It's like, yo, I don't like to yell. But not wearing a mask or interrupting me when I'm working out are the two things. <laughs> I feel like people like, like, when, when they start prep, I feel like people know, like I have like a different vibe around me because they stop talking to me while I work out. <laughs> I don't know what's different, but when I was working out before, people would come up and talk to me, and now they don't. It's like they know. They just know. I really gotta try and get 13 to be done with it on this one. Trying to yeah. get myself yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Whew.
Get the close up shot for my last set of curls. It's probably my favorite machine in the world. ever looking for a birthday gift for me? Huh? I think these are new. I want to say they're like 1200. <laughs> you know, not everything's about money. Yeah. <laughs> you said yeah. But I was just come here for your workout. But I still walk around with a scarf on. Yeah. Like an old lady. Yeah. I need to get like a little poncho. It's really hard after. Oh, that's really hard after all the dumbbell incline. Oh, I bet. <laughs> dumbbell incline is probably my favorite chest exercise. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that much weight, but 30 pounds. That is flat for me. <laughs> yeah. You don't seem as tight as you were. Have you been stretching? Uh, I've actually just been doing, the, like, trying to focus on, on everything where I feel tight through the range of motion, just doing a lot more reps. Yeah. Because I'm just bad about stretching. So I keep saying, I need to find a girlfriend who does yoga. Like, religiously to the point where, like, it'd be one of, like, we're going to do yoga right now, type of thing. Like, I don't have a choice in it, because it's not worth fighting about, and I know I should, but she'll be enough of a nag that I won't make excuses to get out of it. Why can't you just do it yourself? Because I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't you just eat healthy the whole off season by yourself? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll fuck off, <laughs> See, sometimes we need people in our lives to nag us to do things. Okay. Do you know any yogis? They're pretty hard to come across. I know. Last couple of girls I dated were really big into it. I think I'm getting tired just watching you. <laughs> Can't tell. 
How much more do you have left? I'm trying to do 70 reps on each side with this. I'm at 30, so it's got 40 more. And then I won't do barbell stuff for legs because somebody was nagging me. So I'll use maybe leg press and just do a big drop set. Who was nagging you? Huh? Who was nagging you? I don't know. There's, I don't know where she went, but there was a girl in here who's, every time I'm in here, she's like, why do you come here to do stuff you can do at home? <laughs> I mean, that's true. Like, <laughs> like, why do you come here and do barbell curls and deadlifts and like, I mean, really partly, incline presses? Like, all things you can do at fucking home, dude. Just for Listen, life. listen. You could just drink whiskey at home by yourself, but yeah. it's more fun to do it at a club, right? Not always. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, sometimes, like, and imagine though, if you could go to your favorite club and nobody was there yeah. and you just got to run around and be an asshole by yourself. How fun would that be? Yeah, okay. That's like what this is for me. Well, I get to do my this own my... deadlifting challenge today. Huh? I've never done 20 reps with a deadlift. Dumbbell RDL. High intensity training. It is four second eccentric, four second concentric, and then a squeeze at the that top. That means I did dumbbell rows wrong. <laughs> <laughs> for last, for last. What time is it? 7.30. Just if you want to go like melt in the sauna. Just, let me try and rep this out of... Once I'm done with 25 reps here, I'll just do both arms. You see one drop set on leg press. Then we'll jump in there. My right arm got like no rest. <laughs> it's probably yeah. like rep four. <laughs> because my trap's so tight at my left, um, when I was doing presses with Bobby, I was like doing just fine, just fine, just fine. And I yell at him because like when he tries to spot me, he doesn't spot me, he just pushes the weight up. Like for me. And so I went like this and my left arm like sank down, I just looked at it. And he's like, the way how you just looked at your left arm with betrayal. <laughs> It just stopped working. Just gotta yell at him if he touches the weight. I do, I'm like, get the fuck away from me. And he's like, I'm not doing anything. It's like, if you're not doing anything, then don't do anything with your hands away from the weight. <laughs> he's like, see, he doesn't like it when I um, spot him either. I'm like, you don't spot, you do right. all the work. Like, it's not how spotting works. It's like one make, time. You're supposed to make me fight for it. Because I've like, I've yelled at him so many times. I think one time I needed a spot. I think it was a, like flat bench or something. And he did not. And he's like standing there watching me and like the bar's like coming down and I like, I just I have nothing left in the tank. So I had to yell at him to spot me. Help. And I'm like, you're like itching to touch the bar every time that I got it. But the second I need help, you're sitting there like, it's like, well, can you yell at me all the time? And I'm like, because you're touching it before I need help. Yeah. I'm like, if it's still moving up, you don't touch. Yeah. It's like, and even if there's like a slight pause, just give me a second, like be ready, but give me a second. Yeah. Because sometimes it's like almost that mental barrier of like, you can do this still. Yeah. Especially yeah. when he puts his hand over there and you're like, no. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
So now I feel like I have to sacrifice form because I have to move the weight fast enough that your grubby hands don't touch it. This hoodie is making me warmer, thank you. <laughs> oh. It's like I feel eight weeks, but I don't look eight weeks, but I inside feel like eight weeks. <laughs> so like, you know, like where your my athleticism is increasing and um, I feel stronger during my workouts, but I just feel tired a lot. The lactic acid burn's already already happening. Yeah, see what happens when you do exercises that you don't know. Do. Oh. Did I what? Like those goddamn whatever lunges that they're called, split lunges. Oh. Fuck, man. Whew. Split squat. Wow. Oh. Are you talking my about hips, like the my hips jump? Are so tight. Oh. I think the worst part is just trying to... I think you're like literally the devil. You're like, alright, leg press 3 times 15, I'm cool with that. Deadlift 3 times 8, cool with that. Dumbbell split squat 3 times 12. Well, fuck, that was hard even with 10. It's because my hips. And then you're like, giant step walking lunges 3 times 20. <laughs> my hips had their own heartbeat. They're throbbing. <laughs> that quad pump is good. It's already starting to cramp. I feel <sighs> It's not even the lack of gas, it's just muscle spasms. You know, they were doing that after your first set. You'll be able to see in the video, you can see it through your hamstrings, they're kind of twitching a little bit. Steve. I still want him to cramp. What? Yeah, put on lotion. 
ocean, dude. All right. <laughs> you can get you some. It's four degrees out. <laughs> Skin's dry. <laughs> Steve, I'm gonna go get my mask and um, change my shoes. These are work shoes. For work, I use running shoes. Alrighty. Just like how Bobby always uses running shoes. For everything? For everything. I'm like. Is that how it goes? And they were all really old and beat up, too. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's workout. Uh, I am actually supposed to be doing a deadlift challenge with one of the Team Grit guys, Ian, later on today. So maybe if I remember, I'll try and film that as well. Uh, so there's still going to be some more lower body work today, but quads are cramping up something awful. And I got to help push Valerie through the workout. So until next time.